Hey everyone, so for today's Korean lesson, we're going to talk about to exist, or not to exist, to have, to not have. Uh, today I'm going to be using my OneNote because I think it's easier to write the stuff instead of editing it later. So, this is the basic form of to exist or to not exist. It's ista. Ita. Okay, I wrote that kind of big. But this form, like I spoke about yesterday, the double consonants should have more emphasis. But it makes more of a T sound when it runs into this. Digut. I think that's how you say that letter. When it runs into digut, it kind of makes more of a T sound. So, ita. Ita. So, when do you use ita? You use it for places or where you're at basically the most basic way of using it so if you're at the house hospital school or if you're at a party you're in the car all those things is when you use ita so the informal polite way and the only form that I know is um, isayo so here it doesn't make that t sound so isayo Isayo, isayo, isayo. So, isayo is to exist slash have, and is the general form or general, generally used way of saying it. So, let's say you want to say you're at the house. I am at the house or basically you're existing in the house you're at the house at the present time this is what you say so the word for house is cheap okay cheap cheap so we write it like this um cheap eh and this is the thing you connect at the end of a place word just to indicate that's a place I don't know really how to explain that, but that is what you always put when you're saying you're somewhere. So, cheap e, cheap e, or cheap e. It, it kind of, pronouncing is kind of weird, but cheap e, and then e sa yo. So, literally, to exist in the house or whatever. So, let me color code it so we know the structure. So the subject, cheap, and then the connector, e, eh, and then e yo. So how do we say school? Like if you're at school, the basic form for school is hakyu. I mean hakyo. Hakyo. So, we just do the same thing, subject, which is school, hakyo, hakyo, and then the connector, e, and then, isayo. So, you basically replace this with any place you're at. So, if you wanted to say instead you're at a party, you say, Pa, T, I think that's how you say party. It's similar to party, yeah. Pa, T, and then E, E, Sa, Yo. If you want to say you're in the car, oh, let me write down party. Uh, for car, it's Cha. You say Cha, E, e Sa, Yo. If you want to say you're in your room, you say Bang, E, e Sa, Yo. Bang is room. Or wait, wait a second. Oh yeah, bang. I'm pretty sure it's that pang. So oh, oops. So pang e isayo. But what if you want to say you're not at that place? If someone asks you, are you at the party? And then you have to say you're not at the party. Well, the other form to not be at is. Ipsa is ipta, ipta, 
All right, yeah, eat that. That's the basic form, like the other one, but it's to not exist. So eat that. Again, this is kind of silent. So how do we uh, transform it into a sentence word? We say ipsayo. Oh no, no, never mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Opsayo. Opsayo. And you probably heard this in 2 p.m. song Crazy or in many other songs and in dramas. Like when they're trying to say it's not this, it's not that. It's basically like canceling out whatever it is. Like something doesn't exist. Like maybe this is really bad, but like if love doesn't exist, maybe. I don't know if this is how you say it, but maybe. Sa. Lang. He. Upsile. I don't know, maybe this is a really kindergarten way of writing it. But, you know, sarang he meaning love, and then to not exist. I believe that's how you'll write it, like, love does not exist. And they'll probably make it more intricate, like saying love does not exist between you and me, and they'll probably add that there, but like, that's one way, basic form. That's basically what they're saying. They're canceling out this subject. This is canceled by cancel. Okay, so this cancels this is what I'm basically saying so again you could use this for places it's mostly used for places where you're at sometimes I'm really confused about when to use this type of stuff isayol and opsayol because it's very similar to ida but it's different at the same time so for now I'm just saying places because that's for sure you use it for places so again, let's say you want to say you're not at the hospital. So the hospital word, hospital, is Pyongwan. Pyongwan. So this sounds like one, like the money for Korean money, Korean money. So Pyongwan, Pyongwan, Pyongwan. So it's the same thing, the same structure, same sentence structure. The subject, which is Pyong Wan, and then E Opsile. Oh, sweet. I just. Oh, yeah, I just. Sorry. Ah, eraser. Messed up there a second. Opsile. So, you are not at the hospital. This is canceling out this. You are not at the hospital. So, how would you ask a question about this? Well, you could also use it for objects if you have something. So, let's say computer. Someone were to ask you what is a computer, if you want to ask someone, someone do they have a computer, you say, um, sorry, I wanted to double check the word for computer. It is sounds very similar, like I mentioned yesterday, Very a lot of words in Korean sound very similar to English words. So, computer, computer, spelled like this, computer. So if someone were to ask you, do you have a computer, it will sound like this. Computer. Isayol. Computer. Isayol. It will sound like that. And you will reply, let's say, yes, you have a computer. Um, you could say, ne. Computer. Computer, um, computer, isayo. So this is the same thing as this here, this part, this underlying part here, but they you just make it sound more like a question. 
So here you say yes, I have a computer. But let's say the answer is no. You say, Aniyo Aniyo Computer Opsayo. Okay, I think maybe this is redundant. You could just say this is fine. It's just, just saying I don't have a computer. This is just kind of like saying it again, like, no, I don't have a computer. Um, as you can see, I didn't put E in any of these. There's no E because computer isn't a place. Not a place. Not a place. And what was the other thing I used before? Uh, yeah, love. Love is not a place. Love is just a thing that exists. It's a feeling. So you don't use that. Let's see what other things do I have here. Um, you could... And the same thing for uh, bicycle. Bicycle is Cha Cha Jong -gu. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. Cha Chong No, Chang Chong Go. Chang Chong Go. Chang Jo Go. Chang Jong Go. Okay, sorry. I just want to make sure I have it. Chang Chong Go. I'm sure some of you probably know how to pronounce Korean better than me. But this is bicycle. Bicycle. So basically, if you want to say you have a bicycle, you say Chang Jong Go. If you want to say you don't have a bicycle, you say You could also say, do you have a brother? Uh, let's use older brother because I, I know it's Dongseng for a younger brother. But that's in general, like the younger sibling. But I don't know how to write it. But older brother is Opa. Opa. Again, the double consonant, more emphasis. Opa. And then... You have a brother, Opa i Sayo. I have a brother, or Opa i Sayo. Opa ap Sayo. So, basically, other words I think you could add to your vocabulary uh, is pen. Oops, sorry. So, words you could add to your vocabulary. To help you with these sentences is okay. Let's use green pen. You know, to have a pen. I know yesterday we used pen and ida. So, like the difference between using ida and isayo for this example, I think the best way to explain when you use it. Okay, we used ida to say that it is a pencil, like this thing that you're holding is a pencil. But if someone asks you if you have a pencil, that's when you're using isayo, and that's when you answer with isayo or opsayo. Uh, but if they're asking you, is it a pen, you're going to be using ida, and if you're replying you're going to be using the forms for e dot too so I hope you understand it so like pen is pen so to explain the difference between I think using pen is a good example of explaining the difference between e da and e da slash e da no no op da sorry no no wait yeah sorry it was op da well, where are you? Sorry, this was Akta. Make that correction. Akta. So for those forms to explain the difference... Okay, I'm totally messing up, but I think you know what I'm talking about. So, Akta is if someone to... If you are to say, this is a pen, or someone to ask, were to ask you, is it a pen? But isa you will use ista and 
and uh, opta is what you would u is what you would use if you're trying to say that you have a pen or do you have a pen or I don't have a pen that type of thing so this the rest I'm just gonna list vocabulary but I just want to like show the difference between ida and itsta and opta so pen that's how you spell pen these are some words we went over here today uh, vegetable vegetable is yache yache I'm totally writing in the wrong way, but this is the directions you write things. That's ya, che. That's the correct way of writing it. Um, juice, juice. This sounds very similar again. Tangerine. I think some people use tangerine for the word orange too, but I don't think it's the same thing. Cute. Kyun is tangerine. So, so far we have pen, pen, yache for vegetable, jusu for juice, and tangerine is kyu. Rabbit, um, yeah, I guess you could say you have a rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. Rabbit will be useful. Toki, toki, because it has the double consonant again, so more emphasis there. Toki. Key. Hospital, we already wrote that down. House, party, car, room. There's also a link I'll probably post up on this video with a list of many places that you could use, such as beauty salon, barbershop, bathhouse, bank, pharmacy. All these places you could use. They that you could use for east soil and eep soil. And remember to add E at the end of a place. Always use for places. Let me double check this all I wanted to say. I think that's it for now. Just to... Yeah, okay. So remember, use E only for places in this type of situation. And check out the list of vocabulary I'm going to link on this video to use to make sentences with this new form. So I hope you liked the lesson and thank you for watching.